He got enough to make sure that your mic was good. So, and look at me and forget, camera's on. So who are you? Hi, my name is Christian Peterson. I'm the VP Community at uh, CloudMade. Uh, we basically built a mapping platform uh, for developers to create great uh, location-based applications. Now, th this is a hot topic for me. In fact, I'm, I'm using all sorts of location services. I'm using TripIt to tell the world uh, and, and it what flights I'm taking. I'm right. using Foursquare to say I'm here. I'm using Waze to crowdsource uh, traffic information on a, a new map. So where do you guys where do you guys fit into this? Well, whole so mess? I mean, basically, what you're experiencing is that that, that more and more apps are, are getting location as part of, of of the data that basically creates a better user experience. And what we set out to do is, is basically build a mapping platform instead of just being made for kind of I guess you can call it um, uh, old-fashioned uh, user map to you know, find out where you need to go. Yeah. Um, we basically build a mapping platform that enables developers, especially vertical developers, because we're seeing all this verticalization in, in the App Store where, where developers create more and more targeted applications, help them basically create location-based applications. Now we have 10,500 uh, 10, developers uh, already. Wow, what, why so many developers so fast? Well, I mean, basically there are, there are a lot of developers out there. I mean, Apple has 200,000 uh, iPhone developers. Um, yeah. uh, so I think that's what's happened basically. It's, been, it's exploded on mobile because of Apple. Uh, and obviously now being followed by, by, by Android and, and, and others. Now, I'm, I'm noticing that more and more silos are being built where we give our location data to, like my, my airline tickets go to TripIt, right? Yep. But Foursquare has no idea what TripIt has. And so, TripIt doesn't know so what that Foursquare is. That is definitely one of the things that we're working on with our developers. Uh, you know, as you see this verticalization, you, you end up having, you know, one app for finding a restaurant and one app for finding your friend, but you want to meet that friend at the restaurant, and obviously you need to tie those things together. So one of the things that we're offering our developers is actually a back end where they can actually share that information across applications. So once you told one of your applications, um, you know, a location, then the other applications will know that location as well. And so why, why use your system instead of just building on top of Google Maps and trying to hook well, it so, up yourself? So Google Maps is, is, is really built for Google, yeah. and then they just kind of uh, you know, allow other people to use it. Um, and, and, and what we've done instead is go out and talk to developers and ask them what they need, and then build it based on that. Okay. Um, we also have a, a better map. Um, the map uh, that we're based on is, is called OpenStreetMap. It was founded by one of our founders. Um, and it's basically a map where there's two, over 250,000 people contributing to the map all over the world. So it's basically a map built by local there, people. Tell me how I can contribute to the map. What, what, what kind of data can so, I contribute? So there are various, various tools. You need to you know, be a, an OpenStreetMap member. Um, various tools, one of the tools that we've built for the purpose to kind of make it really easy is called MapSend. Um, and you can basically find that at cloudmate.com. Um, we also have something called uh, MapSend POI Collector. So, so right now, if, if, if I wanted to uh, you know, check whether this, this particular place, the computer museum, is, is on the map, you know, I can find that it's, it's on the map and go in and check the information that's, that's there. Um, that's accurate. And I can see that there's actually the phone number isn't, isn't there, so I can you know, easily go in and edit it. Um, so it's like a wiki on top of the map. Type in the phone number, and, and then the phone number is there for everybody else to see. That's cool. So it's it's almost like a wiki where anybody can edit the yeah, information so, so, so about here. OpenStreetMap is definitely like like a wiki. It's 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 a yeah. it's a map wiki and, and everybody can contribute to it. Next thing that we're working on is is that, you know, if you don't want to be a an OpenStreetMap member and kind of make it your hobby to to map, you can still contribute. You can either use the maps and uh, uh, POI collector or you can actually start also using some of our developers apps. Uh, there's a, a developer a company called Scobler that just uh, put out a, a a free navigation app. If you use that to navigate and you find there's something missing on the map, you basically just report it. So you report it to the community. You don't actually add, add it to the map. Somebody in the mapping community will do that for you if, if you don't want to do it yourself. Interesting. So then suddenly we're going, we're saying, you know, 250,000 as the core mappers, and that's obviously growing all the time with, I think it's like 1,000 every two days it's growing wow. with. Um, but on top of that, we suddenly s s will have millions of users that are just contributing 
information rather than directly contributing to the map. Now what about real-time information, particularly around traffic and, and other things, but for instance, I, on my way over here, um, I came into a traffic jam and on Waze, which is similar, uh, Waze is a crowdsourced yeah, traffic yeah, yeah. system, I could report, oh, I'm in a traffic jam, and it saw that my traffic was slowing down, and then I reported the ladder, there was a ladder in the freeway, right in the middle so, of the so freeway. What yeah. you're touching at there is, is one of the hardest things for, for, for mobile developers is that you need actually more than one data layer. Yeah. So for us, OpenStreetMap is just kind of a base layer. What Cloudman has done is built something called a data marketplace, where we basically allow developers to, to get other data layers, either free data layers that's on top of the map, or uh, layers that they can pay a little bit for, like you know, maybe they paid two hundred dollars a year for an extra data layer that they need for their app, um, and then that's been a real easy way to create mashups rather than having to go out and make those data relationships yourself. Very cool. I I know that there's a whole bunch of uh, loyalty programs coming out for uh, you know restaurants and for car washes. Right in my wallet, I have a card for my car wash that I uh -huh. go to, and it, every ten car washes I go, I get a free one. Right. And there's going to be those kinds of systems based on uh, mobile Absolutely. systems. Absolutely. I mean, basically, you know, one of the things that we, we also help developers with is how to, how to make money on their apps because yeah. selling apps is, is kind of where it all started with Apple, but there's definitely a trend towards more and more free apps. So how do developers make money? They have to use advertising or some form of advertising. And whether that's, you know, traditional display ads or text ads or coupons or, or, or whatever it is, they're all going to have location as part of that so that the ads get to be relevant to where you are. Um, and, and you know, like, like you said, once you have it on your phone, then your phone suddenly becomes kind of an extended wallet um, with, with coupons or, 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 or memberships that you can use. Now, on your iPhone, I, uh, tell me about what's laid on the map that maybe Google Maps doesn't have. And so, do you have little apps that you can download and, and load all the McDonald's location? I mean, uh, tell well, me a I mean, little bit about what can There's be. definitely a trend that, that you move towards having an app for everything. So instead of going into one app and finding you know, both McDonald's and uh, Pizza Hut, you'll have a Pizza Hut app and a McDonald's app because then you don't have to like type a lot of stuff in. You just open the app and it knows exactly what you're trying to do. Um, no. that's, that's the trend that we're seeing. That's also why it's so important what you mentioned before that, that we help the developers you know, have the apps talk to each other behind the scenes. Yep. And are, are you uh, working with Simple Geo, uh, who is studying the data flows of real time, like check-ins? Uh, we're we're, we're, we're like not, that? but we're definitely, uh, um, you know, doing some of the same things in terms of studying that. And for, we we basically see CloudMate's platform as a one-stop shop for developers. If they're creating uh, location-based applications, or even just location-enabled applications, where location is just a little bit of the application, we have all the things that they need to create those applications. And that's why, we, you know, developers are. are are finding it, it, it very attractive to to So, so if I'm developer. building an iPhone app, let's say I'm building an iPhone app from McDonald's, how do I license you or how do I how So do it's I free buy? for developers. Okay. Um, what we do is is when you um, launch your app and you have ads in there, then we take a cut of that ad revenue. Um, do you know what the cut is or do you disclose that in public? Uh, we don't disclose that in okay. public. We do disclose it to the developers. All right. um, but you know, it's, 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 it's pretty much the same as it is in, in, in the industry. The developer could go and make a, a relationship directly with an ad network, but they'll find that to get a good fill rate of ads in their app, they need to have maybe 10 or 20 of those relationships. Yeah. And that's a lot of work. That's basically one of the things that we do for the developers. We have all those relationships and we're getting more and more all the time so we can cover all the different niches and all the different ge geographic locations. Interesting. Well, thanks so much, and uh, it's, it's a really interesting space. I, you know, you're seeing a lot of heat on the space because oh, of the absolutely. four squares, but I think a lot of apps need location, and especially now that the mobile phones are getting more and more pervasive, uh, we're going to see a whole lot of new stuff. Do you do anything like geofencing, uh, geofences, by the way, so that I can, I can track when a user leaves my store location? It's, or it's one of the things store? on our roadmap. Okay. Um, big, big event coming up for the developers is that, you know, um, Apple's developer conference is coming up. Um, yeah. That's actually a, a, a place where you can also meet CloudMate if you're a developer. Okay. Uh, we'll be at, at uh, Gilligan's um, for, for like kind of a, a pre-conference pre uh, um, get-together there. This might run right after the Apple thing. On but Sunday. Th that's okay. Where do I learn more about you? Uh, CloudMate.com. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's M-A-D-E. It's, it's, it's like a cloud and then M-A-D-E, right? Yeah, very cool. Thank you so much. Thanks.